Hello students, today we are going to learn how to find mean by shortcut method or we can say it as assume mean method. So I will write here directly formula x bar is equal to a plus 1 upon n summation a 5 into di i from 1 to n. So first here when we use this method if in the case observations that is xi or frequencies are very large so we can we cannot use direct method because in direct method we have to find fi xi so if xi and fi are very large so it is very tedious to find or it is very complex to find calculation of fi xi so in that case we have to use this method so i am going to explain this formula here a means Assume mean. So this assume mean we have to choose from x i. So if x one, x two, up to x n are observations, with corresponding frequencies. are very large in that case we have to use this formula so here a we have to choose from this observation that is xi not from fi so we have to choose a from xi such that this deviation this is deviations di means deviation so these deviations are small so i will explain this di so d means here or di we can find xi minus a so if we change this i d1 we can find x1 minus a d2 this is x2 minus a okay and then after that we have to find fi into di and after that we have to find sum of this fi di and we have to put all these values here here n means now we know that n is equal to summation fi i from 1 to n so we have to find first all these values and we have to put these values in this formula so we can get x bar by using shortcut method this is more clear this formula you will more clear from examples so we will take now example example the following table shows the weight weights of 12 students so here weight in kilogram given 67 70 72 73 and 75 so these are xi or these are observations and number of students that is frequency given 4 3 2 2 1 so here in this case we have to find the mean weight but here observations are very big so we cannot use here uh, direct method we can use direct method but here when we find fi xi so this multiplication is very big so this com uh, this calculation is very complex uh, so in this case we have to use shortcut method so first we have to write this data in tabular form so this 67 70 72 73 and 75 number of students that is f5 4 3 2 2 1 now we have to find di so this di means that is xi minus a so first we have to choose a that is assume mean so this a we can choose from xi so here these are xi so we have to choose a from this xi so if odd number of observations are there mostly we have to choose a that is the middle observation so this is a that is assume mean so this 72 is assume mean so we have to find now deviation this di is called as a deviation so di that is xi minus 72 so here first observation is 67 
So di is equal to 67 minus 72, that is minus 5. Or here I am writing for first example, this is 67 minus 72, that is equal to minus 5. Then second observation is 70, so 70 minus 72, that is minus 2. Next observation is 72, so di that is 72 minus 72 is equal to 0. Next observation is 73, so 73 minus 72 that is 1 and last one is 75, so 75 minus 72 that is 3. Now we can multiply this fi and di because these two numbers are very small to multiply. So last in last one we will find fi di. So here first fi is 4, frequency is 4 and di is minus 5. So 4 into minus 5, minus 20. 3 into minus 2, this is minus 6. Then 2 into 0, 0. 2 into 1, 2. And 1 into 3, this 3. Now we have to find here summation fi and summation fi di because formula is x bar is equal to a plus 1 upon n summation fi di i from 1 to n and here n means summation capital N means summation fi so we want these two values summation fi so this summation fi is 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 11 plus 1 that is 12 and summation FID summation FID is equal to this is 3 plus 2 5 minus 6 plus 5 that is minus 1 and this minus 1 and this minus 20 that is minus 21 so summation FID we have minus 21 and summation FI is equal to 12 now this values we have to put here so a is equal to a that is 72 so 72 plus 1 upon n n means summation fi that is 12 so 1 upon 12 into summation fi di this is minus 21 so multiply by minus 21 now we can reduce this 3 4 are 12, 3 7 are 21. So 72 plus this minus 7 upon 4. Now you can divide this so 72 minus 4 1s are 4. And or first you can multiply this next same denominator that is easy to solve this. So 72 into 4 that is 4 2s are 8, 4 7s are 28. So 288 minus 7 divided by 4. So 288 minus 7 that is 281 divided by 4. So 4 7s are 28. Then 0, 4 2s are 8, 10 minus 8, 2 remain 20, 4 5s are 20. So mean weight of the given data is 70.25 so if here observations are even observations then we will get two values in the or uh, two mid values so we can choose any one mid value as a assume mean here odd number of observations are there so only one mid value is there so you can choose that mid value as a assume mean okay Now we will solve second example. So second example is find the mean wage from the data given below. So wage in rupees given 800, 820, 860, 900, 920, 980 and 1000. So these are XI and number of workers this is FI. So number of workers or frequency is given 7, 14, 19, 25, 20, 10 and 5. So this we have to write in first tabular form so this is wage in rupees that is xi is given here number of workers or here it is written already number of workers frequency fi is written 
Now we have to find di. So for that first we have to choose a. That is assume a. So here number of observations are again odd number of observations. So seven observations are there. So we have to choose middle observation. That is fourth observation. So fourth observation is nine hundred. So this is assume a. That is a. So here we can write a is equal to nine hundred. Now we have to find di that is x i minus 900. So we can see here these observations are very big. That is 800, 7, 820, 14. 14. So we cannot easily find multiplication of this. So we have to use here shortcut method. So here x i minus 900 we have to find first. That is di we have to find here. So 800 minus 900. So first observation is 800. That is x i minus a is 900. So 800 minus 900 that is minus 100. 820 minus 900 that is minus 80. 860 minus 900 that is minus 40. 900 minus 900 so this is zero. 920 minus 900 that is 20. 980 minus 900, so this is 80, and 1000 minus 900, that is 100. Now we have to find f i d i, so this is 7 into 100 minus 700, 14 into 80, that is minus 1120, 19 into 40, that is minus 760, 25 into 0, this is 0, 20 into 20, this is 400. 10 into 80, that is 800, and 5 into 100, this is 5. Now we have to find summation f i. So if we find summation f i, this summation f i is 100. 25 plus 20, 45 plus 550, 60, 60 plus 90, this is 89, 90, 90. 700. So this is summation f i is 100, and summation f i d i. Summation f i d i is 800 plus 400. This is that is 1200 plus 500, 1700. So plus 1700. This is plus 1700. So 1700 minus 700. That is 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 minus 1120. That is minus one two zero and minus one two zero minus seven six zero. This is minus eight eight zero. So summation f i d i is minus eight hundred eighty. Now we have to put these values in this formula. So summation f i d i we have minus eight hundred eighty. Summation f i that is hundred. So we have to put all these values. A that is 900, so 900 plus 1 upon n that is summation f i. This is 100, and into summation f i d i. Summation f i d i is minus 880. So 900 minus 880 divided by 100. So this answer is 900 minus 8.8. So answer is 891.2. So x bar, that is mean wage, or here we can write answer like this way: mean wage of workers is 891.2 rupees. So this is final answer.